Affinity Designer, you can apply text to a curve or vector shape to create interesting and creative designs. So let's take a look at how this works in this branding example I have here. For this design, I want to apply my text to the inside of the circle of this pretzel logo. To do this, first of all, we need to select the ellipse tool over on the left tools panel. I'm going to enable snapping found in the context toolbar. And now we can click and drag while holding shift and command on Mac or shift and control on Windows to enlarge the ellipse from the center point of our design. Now I'm going to go to the color panel and change this circle to have a black outline and remove the fill color. So now let's go ahead and apply our text. We need to use the artistic text tool for this example. So let's select that tool first. And now if we approach the curve, we can see that our cursor changes to show us that we can now apply our text to this area. And by clicking and dragging, we can also preview the sizing of our font beforehand too. So now let's type out some lettering onto our path. And in this case, I'll write out the name of the company. It's worth mentioning that you can use this same method for single open curves to display your type in other interesting ways, as well as applying it to shapes like we are here. And also bear in mind that when converting the curve to accommodate our text, the original shape itself is disregarded. So if you wanted to use your shape or curve again, it may be worth duplicating it beforehand. With the top line of text done, the first thing I want to do is adjust the sizing and center align as this will work well with the next steps. This can be found in the context toolbar along with some other settings which we'll come back to shortly. Now to properly centralize our text, we can adjust these arrows and we can also see that the green arrow indicates the start point and the orange arrow indicates where the text will end. And because we have snapping enabled, this makes it very easy to make sure these two arrows are aligned. Now if we press enter on the keyboard, we can start a new line of text underneath our top line. So let's enter our new text here. You'll now notice that we have an additional green and red arrow to interact with. These work in the same way as before, but if I go inside our line of text, we get the option to show or hide our overflowing text with this little eye icon here. So let's place these arrows in the same way we did before. Now we have two options here. We can either adjust the top line of text or the second line we have underneath to make sure they're both sitting on the same curve. Let's adjust the top line of text to make sure everything sits inside the circle perfectly. To do this, we can simply select the text and head over to the baseline settings in the context toolbar. This is nearly ready, but I'd just like to add some small dots to break up my two lines of text. So let's select the ellipse tool again and add two small circles in our spaces. I'll change the color settings again and then duplicate my ellipse into the other space. Let's group these together using Shift and Command G on Mac or Control G on Windows and position this into place. The final steps I'd like to take is to group my text together with these new dots. Then I'll apply an Erase Blend Mode to the group and clip them inside my previously created Pretzel logo using the Layers panel. And there we have our finished design. So that was a quick run through of how you might use the Text on a Path feature inside Affinity Designer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.